In AP Chemistry, there are four types of acid-base titrations you need to recognize, and each has a distinct pH curve. The first is a strong acid with a strong base, such as hydrochloric acid titrated with sodium hydroxide. This curve starts at a low pH, rises very sharply around the equivalence point, and the equivalence point is at pH 7. Next is a weak acid with a strong base, such as acetic acid titrated with sodium hydroxide. This graph shows a buffer region before the equivalence point, and the equivalence point is above pH 7. Then we have a strong acid with a weak base, such as hydrochloric acid titrated with ammonia. If you're titrating the weak base into the strong acid, the curve starts at a low pH, then rises gradually, and the equivalence point is below pH 7. Finally, a weak base with a strong acid, such as ammonia titrated with hydrochloric acid. This curve also shows a buffer region, followed by a shallow drop near the equivalence point, which falls below pH 7 in the acidic range. In summary, here's how to read a titration graph. First, let's look at what's in the flask. That's the substance being titrated. If it's an acid, the pH will start low. If it's a base, the pH will start high. A strong acid will start with a very low pH because it completely dissociates in water, producing a high concentration of H plus ions. Conversely, a strong base will start with a very high pH due to the high concentration of OH minus ions or hydroxide ions. Now look at the shape of the curve. If a weak component is titrated with a strong one, the curve slopes gently toward the equivalence point and shows a buffer region. But if the titration involves two strong components, you'll see a sharp rise or drop and the equivalence point will be at pH 7. Recognizing these curve features will help you quickly identify the type of titration you're looking at.